Unit 8. Recording 3. Part 2. So, what does this experiment tell us? Well, firstly, it underlines something we already know that our brains are hardwired, are programmed to respond to faces and eyes. It's important for people to know if they're being watched. Secondly, it shows that people are influenced if they think they're being watched. They behave less selfishly. The team was surprised by the significant difference in the findings. And what implications could this have for the future? Well, the team believe the idea could be applied to public situations where people have to decide whether to behave well or badly. One example would be for warnings for speed cameras. The team's previous studies show that drivers would react more positively to images of faces and eyes than to a picture of a camera. Another place where a picture of eyes could be placed is near a CCTV camera in town centres. Now, before I go on to discuss other studies, does anyone have any questions?